Hey everyone, welcome back, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get an Indian IP address using a VPN, including why you might want one, what the setup actually looks like, and which VPNs still work reliably for it. So depending on where you are, there are a couple key reasons you might need an Indian IP. If you're outside the country, you'll probably be looking to access India exclusive content, like regional shows and live sports on Geo Cinema. And if you're located inside India, you might just want a more secure way to browse, especially on public Wi-Fi. A VPN can help with that, as it encrypts your data, masks your real IP address, and keeps your online activity completely private. Also, beyond just streaming and security, an Indian IP can come in handy if you need access to region-specific services like banking platforms, utility sites, or local shopping deals that might not be available based on location. So whether it's for content or convenience, having the option to switch to an Indian IP can be really useful. And while most VPNs technically offer that option, here's the catch. A few years ago, India passed a law requiring all physical VPN servers in the country to start collecting and storing user data. So in response, most of the top VPNs removed their physical servers altogether, but instead of giving up on Indian IPs, they pivoted to something even better, virtual servers. These virtual servers are hosted outside of India, usually in privacy-friendly places like Singapore, or the UK, but they still assign you an Indian IP, so you're able to access Indian content and services without sacrificing privacy, and that's a huge plus. Now to show you how this works in practice, I'll be using ExpressVPN to demonstrate since it's one of the very few VPNs that still lets you get an Indian IP address while keeping your data fully secure. So once you've signed up for ExpressVPN, downloaded their app, and then logged in, just search for India in the server list and you'll see two options, either India via UK or India via Singapore. Both will assign you an Indian IP, so you can pick whichever is closer to your location for the best performance. Then, after connecting to that server, you can quickly confirm that it's working by using any online IP checker and your location should now show up as India. From there, you can open an app like GeoCinema, refresh the page, and everything should load up just like it would if you were browsing from inside India. And this same process works for other Indian platforms as well like Hotstar, Voot, or even the Indian versions of Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. Now the reason ExpressVPN as well as some other VPNs still work so well here is because they've built in advanced obfuscation technology. This basically disguises your VPN connection so that your traffic looks like regular browsing activity. Activity. And that makes it much easier to get around the newer firewalls that are now being used by platforms to limit access based on region, and this makes a big difference when it comes to reliability. Now if you're wondering which VPNs are actually up to the task, the best options for this are ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Not only do they each offer secure Indian IP addresses through virtual servers, but they also deliver consistently strong speeds, have built-in obfuscation technology to get around regional firewalls, and can access content from over 100 countries, including India. So whether you're trying to access a specific app, stream content, or just browse more privately, any of these three will give you the coverage and reliability you're looking for. Now I'm going to briefly go over each of these VPNs to give you a better idea on what they have to offer, but if you want to know more about any of them, you'll find links to pricing and discounts, as well as full reviews, in the description below. So starting off with ExpressVPN, this is probably the best option overall if you're just looking for something simple, fast, and extremely secure. They give you access to over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, and both of their Indian options, India via UK and India via Singapore, work really well. I found the speeds to be fast and stable, even during peak hours, and especially when streaming higher quality content or watching live sports. A big part of that performance comes down to how the app is built. It connects quickly, holds that connection reliably, and keeps everything running smoothly in the background. I tested it across multiple devices, including mobile, desktop, and Fire Stick, and the experience was consistently smooth the whole way through. On the privacy side, Express has one of the strongest track records in the industry. They have a strict no-logs policy that's been confirmed by multiple independent audits. And even when one of their servers was seized back in 2017 by the Turkish government as part of an ongoing investigation, no data could be found on that server. So their claims have even been tested in real-world situations. 
Also, despite all three VPNs on this list having gone through independent audits to verify their no logs policies, Express has gone through the most probably over 20 audits to test every single aspect of their services from extensions to mobile apps. So it's safe to say they are the most secure VPN on the market. Besides that, the app itself is also really clean and easy to use. Everything from selecting a server to changing settings is straightforward, and they include features like a built-in kill switch, split tunneling, and an ad and tracker blocker for some extra quality of life. And so, if you're looking for the easiest to use, fastest performing, and most secure VPN on the market, then ExpressVPN is the best choice here. Next up we have NordVPN, and this is the best option if you're looking for something that combines both speed and a wider range of extra tools built in. They currently have over 7,900 servers in 165 countries, including multiple Indian virtual server options, so you'll be able to get an Indian IP while still having your connection routed through a more privacy-friendly location like Singapore, and then performance-wise, I only saw about a 3% drop in speed when testing their Indian servers. And that's the fastest I've seen a VPN perform across the couple dozen VPNs I've tested so far, and that's majorly thanks to Nordlynx, which is the fastest performing protocol on the market right now. So make sure to change your protocol to this in the settings to guarantee the fastest speeds possible. Besides speed, what makes NordVPN stand out on this list is the wide range of features you get alongside the VPN. There's threat protection, which blocks ads, trackers, and even malicious files before before they can do any damage. There's the conventional kill switch we mentioned earlier, as well as an app kill switch that terminates select apps when the connection drops unexpectedly instead of shutting down your whole connection. Then there's the dark web monitor, which keeps an eye on the dark web for your personal information and alerts you in case of a breach so that you can take immediate action. And on top of these features, there are also a bunch of specialty servers designed for specific activities like P2P servers for torrenting and double VPN servers for double the protection. And then when it comes to protocols, on top of Nordlinks, you also have the newly added Nord Whisper protocol, which is designed to help users in heavily censored regions get online more freely and access platforms that may not be available in their location. And so, if you're looking for a well-rounded VPN that offers a huge list of countries, fastest speeds, and widest variety of bonus features, NordVPN is a great option here. And finally, we have Surfshark, which is going to be the best choice here if you're after something more affordable, but still packed with performance and features. They currently offer over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. And like the others, they also include Indian virtual server options. So getting an Indian IP while keeping your traffic routed through a privacy-friendly country is no issue here. Speeds were really solid in my testing as well, thanks to their custom-built WireGuard-based protocol, and their Everlink technology also helps maintain a stable connection, even during longer streaming or browsing sessions. Now, it's not as fast as Nord and Express, but it's still fast in its own right and faster than most other options out there. But the main reason Surfshark stands out is that it gives you unlimited device support unlike Nord, which only allows up to 10 devices, and Express, which only allows up to 14. So if you're planning to share your account with family and friends, or just want to run it on every device you own without hitting a limit, this is the only VPN on this list that actually allows that. It's a really big plus, especially if you're someone who bounces between multiple platforms. Now in terms of features, you've got clean web, which blocks ads and trackers automatically. There's also no borders mode, which helps keep the app working even in regions with tighter internet controls and a bunch of specialty servers such as MultiHop, which routes your traffic through two servers instead of one for an extra layer of privacy. And even with all those features, Surfshark still manages to be one of the most budget-friendly options on the market. They've also gone through independent audits to confirm their no-logs policy just like Nord and Express, and you're also getting the same kind of obfuscation tech found in the other two VPNs, so your traffic blends in with normal browsing and is able to get around regional firewalls with no issue. And so, if you're looking for a VPN that offers a ton of flexibility, solid privacy features, and strong performance at a lower price point, Surfshark is easily the best value value out of the three. So just to quickly recap, if you're looking for the easiest to use, fastest performing, and most secure VPN with strong all-around reliability, then ExpressVPN is the one to go for. If you want something that gives you the fastest speeds along with the biggest feature set, then NordVPN is probably the better fit. And if you're mainly after something more affordable that still delivers great speeds, full Indian IP access, and unlimited device support,
cart, then Surfshark is going to give you the best value overall. And again, you'll find links to all three VPNs down in the description below, along with any current discounts and full reviews if you want to explore them in more detail. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, drop those in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.